Hey guys, so I'm back with another review for you today. I'm reviewing Captain Marvel. Yes, I know I'm three weeks late, but because A, I want to give people time to watch the movie. B, my schedule's been crazy hectic for the last month. And C, I just saw the movie last week. So yeah, I finally got to it. So there are going to be some mild spoilers in here, depending on what I can remember, because I, guys, I'm watching so much content these, these last couple of weeks. There's just so much going on with the movies. Anyway, Carol Denvers finally is entered into the Marvel Universe. I was very skeptical. I'm going to be so honest. I did not have the most faith in Captain Marvel because of what the press has been doing to it lately, but ever since it's been announced in the trailer. But anyway, I'm actually here for Captain Marvel. She did the damn thing. However, comma, I don't know how she's going to save us from Thanos. I really don't know. Um, I didn't trust Jude Law's character from the beginning. I never trusted him. You just know. Her best friend and her daughter, um, I think someone told me she's supposed to be the future Captain, next Captain Marvel. I think with the time jump, we're going to see that. We don't know if they disappeared in Infinity War or not, but honestly, overall, this movie, it gave me what, you know, I was expecting and then some. I really was here for this solo female movie. Um, I wouldn't put it at Wonder Woman status, but this is a, you know, introduction to a new character. This is his first solo film. And Captain Marvel did the damn thing. We get to see the orange origins of how Captain Marvel and Carol Danvers kind of started out. And I wasn't into the comics more. I was, I was the person that got, you know, roped in with the movies. I'm white part of the generation that had the first Spider-Man as Tobey Maguire. So you know, y'all know... Y'all know, if you're old enough to know OG Spider-Man, then we cool. You know what I'm talking about. Honestly, CGI really, you know, is what you expect from Marvel. The scrolls thing, y'all. <laughs> the scrolls. But that trailer with the old lady, I was like, Lord, that was that must be your scroll. And we were right. We thought the scrolls were bad, but it turns out they were good, so yeah, let's just go straight into the um, ending. The um, ending, we get to see her with the Avengers and Homegirl's Pissed. Kind of like a mom would be after she cleaned that whole morning. She goes to get groceries, comes back home, the whole place is a mess. I'm like, really? Kind of like Mr. Incredible is like, you, you couldn't keep it clean for 10 minutes? Like, <laughs> and apparently her and Black Widow have a history, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And... Avengers Endgame, I'm trying to remember what I just saw. It was just announced that Avengers Endgame is supposed to be three hours and two minutes long. Those two minutes are already for the, like, post-credit um, scene, so I already know. So, yeah, Captain Marvel, I give it an 8 out of 10, honestly. An 8 out of 10 definitely exceeded my expectations of what I thought it was going to be about. Really loved it. Can't wait to see her in Endgame. Can't wait to see Endgame. I don't know when I'm seeing Endgame because my schedule, literally my work schedule, I have my work schedule for the next, honestly I have my work schedule for the next three weeks. So I won't know my schedule until probably next weekend. Either the week of April 1st or April 8th, I'll know. Because they post schedules on Sunday. So depending on how it, it goes, I might see Endgame Friday night or Thursday night, depending on where they put me. Honestly, I have no idea. Well, honestly, I may have to take that Thursday off because I have my chemistry test. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my little Captain Marvel review. Let me know in the comments down below if you're looking forward to seeing Endgame. What'd you rate Captain Marvel as? You girl, peace out. Real love. Have a great day. Bye.